government report on prescription drug pricing points to corporate mouth. Freedom of the press is about your right to know. What are you talking about, man? Look at his stats. It's about your right to be informed. Your right to access all types of information keeps us free as a nation. No, 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 no. Today, there are real threats to press freedom. residential areas by... And your right to know about the world around us. Look. Some threats are obvious. Some are easy to miss. But they all put our way of life at risk. We must defend against all of these threats, no matter what kind of news is important to you. Justified putting American troops in harm's way. That's a great question. We must protect our right to know before it's too late. Understand the threats. Protectpressfreedom.org. I'm Ben Affleck, and I want to thank you for joining me and supporting Paralyzed Veterans of America. I joined the Navy to serve my country as a Navy SEAL. While parachuting with my platoon, my parachute didn't open. And I broke my neck. It left me paralyzed. Paralyzed Veterans of America was by my side from that moment on. Since 1946, Paralyzed Veterans of America has kept a promise to our wounded veterans. We will never leave a fallen comrade behind. Thanks to PVA, Paralyzed veterans are getting specialized medical care and treatments. The benefits they've earned, the jobs they want, and the accessible vehicles and homes they need. I just don't think my family would be as happy as they are without the support that I received from Paralyzed Veterans of America. Our veterans fought for us. Let's fight for them. To learn more, go to pva.org today. You've messed up your son's haircut. Ma? Do you A, try to fix it? Like it never happened. B, work with what you got. Or C, show solidarity. Thank you, baby. As a parent, there are no perfect answers. But you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. Your daughter just had her first breakup. Do you A, put yourself in her shoes? B, console her? Don't worry, sweetie. This is gonna happen a lot. Or C, find her a new boyfriend. Nice single boys. <laughs> that was weird. As a parent, there are no perfect answers, but you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. Your daughter just had her first breakup. Do you A, put yourself in her shoes? <laughs> B, console her? Don't worry, sweetie. This is gonna happen a lot. Or C, find her a new boyfriend. Nice single boys. <laughs> that was weird. As a parent, there are no perfect answers, but you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. Hey, Barbie. You're so cheesy. I want to gobble you up. What? Stand back and watch this. Don't do anything stupid. What human voodoo is this? It's a portal into other realities. Come on. Where did they go? That was freaky. I'll check the browser history. Rooster, you're looking good. Hey, cutie. Ed, there's something really off here. <laughs> this is utter chaos. I'm female. It's just in this reality. I had a friend like that once. Got ate by an alligator. Oh, no. Free fish. Humans put something in the fish so we can't crop until the sun is down. Just getting shot at. <laughs> Ed, do you trust me? Not usually. Who knows how many more of these we'll have to go through to find home. If we leave, we have no idea what kind of place we'll end up. Hey, boy. They said a bottle was just a bottle. That no one would ever notice me.
But I knew I could be more. That one day, I would make people smile. Uh, let me take these funny glasses off here. Welcome to Soul Dates Live, everyone. Welcome to Soul Dates Live, everybody. I am your host, Sean Garvey. Can we uh, play a little bit of that music in the background? There we go. There we go. Once again, welcome to Soul Dates Live. I am your host, and producer Sean Garvey. Make sure you follow us at Beat Break Radio on all your social media. At Beat Break Radio, we're broadcasting live. Yes, folks, we are live. And I am feeling a lot more better, by the way. Thank you all for checking up on me when I was under the weather for the past couple of weeks. You know, that bug's been going around. So I wanted to make sure that I'm dressed up to make up for my leave of absence from the show uh, as I recover from that illness, but I am happy to say that I am better. Thank you so much. We're on all your streaming platforms, including Roku TV, Android TV, your Fire TV, even on the Flow Television Network, and this show will be on demand on Honey, my new Roku TV channel. Make sure you check Honey out, download the app on your Roku TV. But in the meantime, between time, check out tonight's broadcast. We are in for a treat, and so are you. This is the speed dating edition of Soul Dates Live. We got a few bachelors and bachelorettes that will be joining with us momentarily. But in the meantime, between time, I have a special guest, special family that are in the studio with us this evening. We're going to turn the music bed down. So I am playing both host and producer and uh, somewhat of a participant. Uh, but I'll get into that in just a few moments. We are joined by Nicole and John, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all give a round of applause for uh, Nicole and John. If I can get the applause ready, but I'm going to just do it on my mm -hmm. end. Good evening. Happy Sunday. How are you all doing? Hey, hey we're great. Doing well. Awesome, awesome. You know what? I know what the problem is. Let me bring this down. See, this is what happens when you have to be on air and producing at the same time. All right. all good. We're going to make it work tonight. Uh, happy New Year, first and foremost. Happy 2024. And I am happy to say that you are, are the first couple to ever be on Soul Dates Live. Uh -huh. Wow. Wow. Awesome. So that, that we like being the, the first. <laughs> who doesn't like being the first nice <laughs> who doesn't like being the first so nicole i want to start with you we talked okay. offline um prior to you coming on the show i cannot wait to get into you and john's happily ever after part of the story but of course this is so days live i want to let people know if you are a first time viewer this is the show in which we connect people based on music compatibility and personal chemistry. A little bit something different than what most dating shows do. Uh, but because we got the actual game show coming up in just a few moments, this is just the pregame. Of course, we have done pregame segments in the past before Nicole and John. But uh, I like to just talk to couples and talk to people who have experienced the ups and the downs of the dating scene so nicole <laughs> let's talk let's start with you first nicole how has your dating life in the past been <laughs> Just describe to us <laughs> um lots of dating sites um blind setup dates etc for 20 years <laughs> um, One year. wow. oh yeah so I've got stories, I've got things to say, please don't go there. <laughs> but I've also got lots of advice after that long of a time of things that I did try out that were advantageous. And this is an example of one of the things I did try out that was advantageous. So yeah, 
just um, lots of stuff. Kind of depends on what you want to exactly hear about. I want to just for a few moments, Nicole, just give our listeners and our viewers some fun fact about you. You are a model slash an actress. And is it fair to say, and this is right up my alley if you've done any research on me, but <laughs> you are a mental health therapist. Is it fair to say that? Yes. Here in the state of North Carolina, okay. it's licensed clinical mental health counselor. Wonderful, wonderful. And, and the reason why I say that's up my alley, because I do a mental health show called The Mental Space. Got to give you all a shameless plug. Check it out. Uh, Wednesday nights from 7 to 9 p.m. on News and Talk 1380 WAOK. Okay, that's Eastern Standard Time. Um, but how? what do you think? This is just kind of a, a, a question that I wanted to throw you throw you guys out there. And John, you can also weigh in as well. How does mental health play a role in today's dating scene we have we, you know we see the news stories right we see the news stories of the decline in dating and even in marriages and this is from accredited sources right yes. so but from your vantage point uh how does mental health play an instrumental role in today's dating scene it's it plays a big role um so big role from the aspect of actually someone's mental health but also throughout how they handle certain things, which has a lot to do with the mental health aspect. And since COVID happened, lots of things have shifted. Lots of things have shifted in the dating world, in the mental health world. Lots of anxiety has come more to the surface, which plays a big part in relationships. Mm, let's say you, John. Um let's say you, how does mental health, do you think mental health plays an instrumental role? Do you agree with Nicole that men, mental health plays a very vital role in today's scene? And how do you look at it from a male's perspective? Oh, I do. Definitely. Yeah. And I think it's a lot to do with compatibility with someone else. You know, if, uh, if, if they're working on their mental health and, and you're, you're doing the same, um, you're going to be compatible. So I, I believe it does play a very important role and, and especially in compatibility, in my opinion. So what you're saying is that both people are working toward common goals of being as healthy as they can be. And that mm. does take on the, the big aspect of the mental health. Then they are going to be more compatible because they're work, both working toward individual goals, but also right. to help out in the relationship. Yes. Right, right. Uh, Nicole and John joining with us right here on So Days Live with Sean Garvey. And also, by the way, too, if you see the ticker at the bottom, if you like the show, if you like what we're doing, make sure you, you send us a love appreciation. Uh, dollar sign, reach one communications, cash app, and follow my Patreon users, patreon.com forward slash reach one communications. Um, Nicole, you know, just in your experience, especially when it comes to um, talking about all things considered mental health and still going through the barriers of the dating scene. What do those conversations look like when you are talking to or when you engaging with people that are dealing with some issue of trying to find that special someone or to find that person that can be compatible to? What do those conversations look like? Honestly, a lot of the conversations these days have surrounded social media and um, mm. oh yeah, that opens up a huge Pandora's box for a lot of people. Social media gives us wonderful platforms to be uh, connected and in communication and meet varied people from all around, not just our small towns that we might live in. Yeah. But it also opens up the Pandora's box to infidelity and liking other people, kind of, sort of, the soft cheating. And so it, it opens up a Pandora's box because now we have access to so many different people, things, etc. Right. But but then again, just to not so much give you a pushback, but just to play devil's advocate nope, a little do bit. It. Ago. <laughs> a little bit. Uh, okay, so I we we've all come uh we all came from a time where we didn't have social media, right? Yes. We didn't have social media, we didn't have all this access to pretty much everywhere, everybody around the world, right? Yes. And I came from a time where you could only reach to somebody within your close proximity. 
Yes. And yes. You know, now we have social media. Do you think that without social media, right? Because we didn't have to have social media, yeah. but it but we are on social media. Yes. But without social media, and uh, you know, we wouldn't have dating apps. We wouldn't have dating apps or certain certain dating platforms that we have. You know, yes. I mean, is it both in your perspective, is it both a gift and a curse at the same time? Absolutely. Absolutely. So Sean, just quick example. I had a a local client of mine that had been coming to me for mental health counseling for about a year, Um, met someone online and she lives somewhere up North. So we're here more the Southeast area. She's up North. They fell in love. And recently, I think it was last month, maybe a month and a half ago, he moved up there and they are like the perfect match. So mm. if it weren't for social media, if it wasn't for dating apps, he would have never met this person. So just an example of how it can be, like you said, the kind of the blessing and the curse. So, yes. Right, right. Yeah, I will. And I will honestly say that I've had I have had my fair share of dating apps. Yeah. Like I've been on so many dating apps, so many dating platforms. You, yeah, I think all of us have. Have you been on dating apps in the past yourself? I grabbed him out of a I marriage. Yeah. I grabbed. Oh, you him got out. no. You got it. Oh, Nicole, you got to tell us that. You got to spill the tea on that. <laughs> I grabbed him. I was like, ah, and he was at the tail end of his divorce, and I'm like, he's mine. <laughs> okay, you got to set it up. You got to set it up, Nicole. All right, let, let's go to the origin. How okay. did? How did? Nicole meet John. How did John meet Nicole? Let's well, go. I think I should tell kind of the, the beginning of this. So okay. I was in a, a marriage for 23, 24 years, um, recently divorced, um, just starting to reach out and date. Um, so very early on, I was not on the dating scene very long at all mm-hmm. till um, Nicole happened. Uh-huh. And that's been about three years ago. And yeah. um yeah. I, I think we're both happy. Wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. Just a backtrack. Uh, just a backtrack. It, it was three years ago. Yes. So was this like during during COVID or after COVID? That's right. Um, it was in COVID. It was in well, the midst wow. of it. Wow. 20, yeah. 2020? Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. So it was kind of the end of it when people are trying to start get back or getting back into the world again. What, what, this is amazing because in 2020, it's so funny you said that Nicole, because in 2020, that was when I came out of a relationship and it was the same kind of relationship that I still wanted to be in this person that I thought was going to be the, the, the wife, the, a woman to come in and the person that I could see myself growing old with, right? And, and and starting a new family with, and she ended things, she broke up with me, which led me into a spiral of mental health issues, Oh yeah, right? And, and yep. in 2020, I realized that, hey, I wasn't the only one yes. <laughs> during the yes. pandemic to really face heartache and heartbreak, but you, Nicole and John, your story is a bit different. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So it was the end of 2020, beginning of 2021. So yeah, our story is different. And we were very, but but like you were saying, Sean, before, the whole mm-hmm. blessing part of social media and dating apps, but we'll stick with just the social media piece that applies right. to us. Okay. Because of social media, because he actually, it was, we were Facebook friends. And then I saw him on a hike. And so it was that story was very interesting. So because of social media, we actually Mm -hmm. were able to, through COVID, find each other, but not completely get together till we saw each other on a hike. And we didn't even, well, I think you realized it was me. I didn't realize it was him. But we were social Mm -hmm. media friends. Social us, media, social media yeah. broadened her horizons or broadened our pool of people, but we still needed that um, communication to to connect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's go deeper in you guys' journey. Like, what was it about Nicole and and John? What was it 
you know, about Nicole and Nicole, what was it about John that the sparks just started flying? Like, like, give us the scoop on it. <laughs> Do you want to go first? Uh, I will, sure. Oh, <laughs> of, of course, the physical and, and the physical attraction, of course. Um, but also, mm -hmm. once we started communicating, we, we have a lot of differences, but we are very compatible, even mm -hmm. with our differences. Um, yeah. And we just found that common ground and, and we uh, like a lot of the same things. We do a lot of the same activities and we yeah. just, our differences kind of meshed into something that worked for both of us. So. Yeah. So even the difference part that you're talking about, his strengths are my weaknesses and my strengths are his weaknesses. That's the differences mm. part that really ended up helping with the building blocks actually of our foundation. Yeah. Wow. So wow. he's not a planner. I'll give you an example. He's not a planner. I'm an uber planner. Like I have a calendar in my <laughs> phone. I have a calendar, paper calendar still. Yeah. Uber planner. Sit down every morning about 715. Look at my list for the day. He just looks at me. He says, what's going on? Because he is not a planner. <laughs> <laughs> but he's great at other things. He's great at organization mm -hmm. in regards to the house. So I just throw my clothes everywhere and he goes and picks them up and hangs them up because ah. so organization so you try, yeah. ways. Mine is yeah. I need to organize my day and have time slots. His is my environment needs to be organized. Yes. Wow. See, John, John is like me because I don't like a messy house. I'm very OCD. I, yeah. I don't like a messy house. Yeah. I he have a tendency. that term, but I don't think I'm OCD. <laughs> I just think I'm, yes. I'm a, a, a neat person. No, I like your term of OCD. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> but I, lo I, I love, love that because I could care less. Seriously. It's like I don't it, it doesn't even pass through my mind that I just threw my sweater on the bed that we're about ready to lay on. Mm. Okay. John, what about you? What was it about Nicole? Um, you know, like I said, the physical attraction first, but the compatibility, um, I was not expecting, I, you know, I was expecting to, to go on a few dates with this person and, you know, I was wanted to see where it went, but we were, our first date was, <laughs> it was immediately where we, we found that we were compatible with each other. Um, it started at three o'clock in the afternoon. It was supposed to be just a date to a winery and, you know, listen to some music and, you know, three hours later, we're going to another party and three hours later, we're on the, <laughs> the, the roof of her office, you know, looking at the stars. So yep. it went from three o'clock in the afternoon to uh, almost three o'clock in the morning. So, um, and yeah. Yeah. I don't think we've gone a, day without seeing each other since nope so that first day we were together we were we were bound <laughs> mm, i love yeah. it i love it i want to play some music in the background because you all just helped set the mood right here the <laughs> right, here on, right here on soul dates live sean garvey um i oh by the way um we are not live on instagram i am on live sean garvey atl follow me there uh but if you only hear me and you can't hear the people in the background you're gonna have to go to youtube at beat break radio youtube at beat break radio to hear this amazing conversation with couple nicole and john i'm loving it so far we're about to start the game nicole and john in just a few moments uh the game and i'm going to reveal who the mystery man is in just a few moments we've been promoting it on social media giving people a little bit of a suspense on who the mystery man is going to be. Uh, we are expected to have three lovely, beautiful women come on uh, to compete for a date with the mystery man. We got that coming up. Nicole and John hanging out with us. Uh, so, Nicole, yes. what is your advice to the daters, to people that are, you know, looking for that one for that person that can come in and not so much say complete them but just add some type of value to what they already have what, what do you say to those people what is your advice to single people and to daters even like myself what is your advice so there's there's two things i have so much of course but 
two things that are really, really important that I realized finally in the dating scene is to look at this person as is. So if you're sitting across the table from this person, whether it's a first date, a third date, a 10th date, whatever, could you as is see this person in your life, contributing to you, being a team player? Could you see this person as is doing all of that? Or are you looking at it as, oh, if this person were this different, then maybe so. Or if this person changes this facet of their life, maybe so. So if you're doubting it like that, I'm not saying stop the dates right there, but maybe not continue to jump in, spend all your energy, et cetera, because maybe they're just not the right person. Now, I'm not mm. saying that throughout relationships that there's not tweaks and changes and compromise because there is. Right. But if you're sitting across this person going, hmm, okay, so maybe one day that person is going to get a better job than what they have right now, but who they are right now is okay, except for that part, then maybe you need to reconsider. Because mm. what if they don't climb the ladder? What if something happens in their career and they stay where they're at? You may or may not get the person that you want for the rest of your life if you stick right there with that person. Yeah. So, yeah. That as no, go ahead. is, yeah. As Another is. part, um, I don't know if you've heard of, Sean, the five love languages. Have you heard of that? I have, yes. It's amazing. Every client, individual or but definitely couples that come into my office i talk to them about the five love languages because that is huge it helps people know how the other person feels about them by the love language that they're giving to them but when you're working with a couple if you can both speak each other's love language you're mm. going to feel more connected mm. Mm. i will and, say and about yeah. that quickly with John and I, our love language is physical touch and quality time. So I we got it. so lucky, which is probably why we stayed together that first date till 3 a.m. and for three years now afterward is because our love language is clicked. We wow. didn't have to work on it. We didn't have to talk about it. We didn't have to compromise about it. We knew how to speak each other's love language from day one. Wow. Wow. And you know what? And, and I'm so glad that you mentioned that years ago, I was so clueless on what the five love languages were, especially yeah. in my last relationship. But knowing the science behind the love languages, oh, it yeah. does play a pivotal role in how you go out and date and how you build relationships with people and you learning more and more about yourself. Yes. Uh, uh, John, what, what, so you said both of you all, just to be on the same page, both of you all's love languages is physical touch and quality time. Yes. Wow. Yeah. That, okay. that was part of the compatibility thing. And, and going back to the original thought or the original question, you know, the compatibility thing was huge for me. You know, I didn't want to sacrifice or give up any of my, um, my, um, needs? wants or needs, either mm -hmm. one. So, yeah. you know, I think, a big thing for for me going into it was I wanted to be open and honest from the beginning. I wanted to be I didn't want to have to ever backtrack and, and make up for something that I misstepped. So that mm -hmm. was a big thing for me. And like Nicole said, can you see this person in your future? If if I couldn't, um, you yeah. know, it would have just been one or maybe two dates. You know, I always give the yeah. want to give the person, you know, that every chance in the world, especially if I'm attracted to them you know so i think other than that you know it's just going back to the mental health piece you know i don't want to give up my happiness or give up my peace um if it's not working out so that's yeah. important if if that person makes you happy if that person brings you or doesn't interrupt your peace um that's where you need to be um and without those factors being met um, i don't think our compatibility would have been there Wow. Yeah. John, say that one more time. Peace. Peace. <laughs> yes. And it's not it's not looking for the peace between you. It's making yeah. sure that other person doesn't interrupt your peace. So your peace is is 
in my mind, the important part. If that person is is invading on your peace, um, that's a red flag from the beginning. But if you're feeling happy and you're feeling yourself wanting to be with this person and this person makes you happy and it 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 doesn't interrupt your peace, um, that red flag is not there for me. So yeah, that's where we we were very compatible and I think yeah, I love it. I love it. Well, before we let you two go, um, I want to know when are you all going to, I don't know, I guess, um, do a reality show together, like do a, <laughs> <laughs> do a, a program together or something, you know, actually I mean, there's some, some, some things in the works. So yes, we've been talking to some people in California, so we might be on a reality show soon. Uh oh, that's uh -oh. funny that you yeah. asked that because you and I haven't even talked about that. But yeah, last week was pretty exciting for us. <laughs> uh oh, we, we got to give a hand clap for that. We got, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We can't hear you. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, there you okay. go. Okay. I was I was saying that would be a good show title, Nicole and John. How about that? Hey. Oh, we could have our own show. We yeah, we, we could actually do a really good job at that. Like we were saying, teamwork between us, it's amazing. We are teamwork. when we go, so we also we do films together. We're background okay. and we also work on some conceptual videos to get people to put the video out in front of people to get funding. We're actually currently doing that. When we go on set together, it's amazing. We work so well together. We know each other so well that we get up there and we act very naturally. And it usually is exactly what people are looking for. So compatibility is amazing. Teamwork, teamwork, teamwork. It's big, especially as, as growing adults, <laughs> we have to have teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work. All Absolutely. right. I love it. I love it. But well, once again, Nicole and John joining with us right here on Soul Days Live during the pregame edition. Uh, this is the pregame edition, actually, uh, before the actual game show in which we are getting ready to start in just a few moments. So we have our daters yes. in the green room. I know Nicole and John, you all got the popcorn probably already popping. <laughs> and you got the wine. So you all going to sit back, relax and uh, enjoy actually cheers cheers, cheers. and uh you are gonna uh, watch all the fun yes. live here yes on we're excited so everybody i'm excited i'm excited uh, any last remarks any uh last thing you want to say to our daters and to our viewers out there yes <laughs> everybody can move through this life as um healthy as they they can and and create a life for themselves that is beautiful even if that means that you go through life and you continue to date or you find the right one or maybe you find the right one at the right time in that moment and then yeah. it's somebody else the next month it, this is a big wide world of dating and love and as long as you stay true to yourself and you keep yourself healthy, it's all good because the world looks different for all of us. It does, it does. Even if the world is what it is yep. right now, yep. you gotta find the beauty, you gotta find the love in it. Absolutely. I love it. Well, once yes. again, Nicole and John, I wish you guys many wishes, many uh, great things. And, and let's do a follow-up very, very soon. Mm -hmm. uh, because w when you all do a follow-up, when I bring you guys back on, I want to hear some type of wedding bells in my head. Oh, but John, <laughs> what, what if we're okay not being married? There's another one. Oh, oh, oh okay. You say, so you about to start up another convo. <laughs> you starting up another subject. Now, I'm not saying uh, I wouldn't marry him, but I think uh, we're also just as awesome without rings. Okay. So who all knows, right. right? All right, now. The world looks different for all of us. Okay, okay. All right, John is like, I know that's not the wine talk. <laughs> He's like, I have a ring for wait, her, huh? and now she's saying this. <laughs> like, I love you. I love you. 
All right. Well, thank you so much, Nicole and John. Um, you're welcome back on a future episode of Soul Dates Live. Once again, many well, many well wishes to you. And I heard thank the you, dog in the background. So uh, you, are, you are living the dream thus far. I love yeah. it. I Absolutely. Love it. We worked hard for it. <laughs> yeah. John's like, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> well, what about now? What did you say about that wedding? Wedding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> dream work That's makes true. the dream work. All right. Thank you so much, Nicole and John, yeah. for taking time to come on uh, Soul Days Live with okay. Sean Garvey. All right. Thank you all thank so you. much. Thank you. Thank you. Good thank luck, you. everyone. Yes. Good luck, everyone. Good luck, everyone. Thank you once again to Nicole and John. Uh, they're going to be watching us live. Uh, so Days Live. Once again, we are broadcasting live on Roku TV, Fire TV, Apple TV, Android TV, YouTube at Beat Break Radio. Don't, don't forget to subscribe there and wherever you get your podcast streaming from. All right. So we're going to take a five minute break and then we're going to start the actual dating show. And I'm going to explain to you why I have this suit on. OK, so uh, stay tuned. We got uh, more of So Days Live coming up right here on Reach One Network. We also on the Reach One Network, the Flow Television Network, and uh, wherever you get your streaming from. All right, we will be right back. Stay tuned. Anticipate potential delays for the morning commute. In other news, a recent government report on prescription drug pricing points to corporate mouth. Freedom of the press is about your right to know. What are you talking about, man? Look at this stat. It's about your right to be informed. Your right to access all types of information keeps us free as a nation. No, 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 no. no. Today, there are real threats to press freedom. Residential areas by and your right to know about the world around us. Look. Some threats are obvious. Some are easy to miss. But they all put our way of life at risk. We must defend against okay. all of these threats, no matter what kind of news is important to you. Justified putting American troops in harm's way. That's a great question. We must protect our right to know before it's too late. Understand the threats. ProtectPressFreedom.org. I'm Ben Affleck, and I want to thank you for joining me and supporting Paralyzed Veterans of America. I joined the Navy to serve my country as a Navy SEAL. While parachuting with my platoon, my parachute didn't open. And I broke my neck. It left me paralyzed. Paralyzed Veterans of America was by my side from that moment on. Since 1946, Paralyzed Veterans of America has kept a promise to our wounded veterans. We will never leave a fallen comrade behind. Thanks to PVA, paralyzed veterans are getting specialized medical care and treatments. The benefits they've earned, the jobs they want, and the accessible vehicles and homes they need. I just don't think my family would be as happy as they are without the support that I received from Paralyzed Veterans of America. Our veterans fought for us. Let's fight for them. To learn more, go to pva.org today. You've messed up your son's haircut. Mom? Mm -hmm. Do you A, try to fix it? Like it never happened. B, work with what you got. Or C, show solidarity. Thank you, babe. As a parent, there are no perfect answers. But you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. You've messed up your son's haircut. Ma? Do you A, try to fix it? Like it never happened. B, work with what you got. Or C, show solidarity. Thank you, babe. As a parent, there are no perfect answers. But you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. Hey, you. Yeah, you. 
getting that college education. What are you going to do? Graduate and take some office job? Be like everybody else. Or will you dare do something different? Like be a teacher. Be my teacher. Be my teacher. You could be my teacher. You got the skills. The smarts. Yes, you. You could be the teacher I never forget. That would be cool. Does that corporate job even have recess? We need more teachers. We need more great teachers. Teachers like you. What are you going to make of yourself? What are you going to make of me? Thank you. You got a key? Go fish! It only takes a moment to make a moment. Take time. Hey, Barbie, you're so cheesy. I want to gobble you up. What? Stand back and watch this. Don't do anything stupid. What human voodoo is this? It's a portal into other realities. Come on. Where did they go? That was freaky. I'll check the browser history. Rooster, you're looking good. Hey, cutie. Ed, there's something really off here. This is utter chaos. I'm female. It's just in this reality. I had a friend like that once. Got ate by an alligator. Oh, no. Free fish. Humans put something in the fish so we can't crop until the sun is down. Just getting shot at. Ed, do you trust me? Not usually. Who knows how many more of these we'll have to go through to find home. If we leave, we have no idea what kind of place we'll end up. All right, and we're back. Welcome back to Soul Dates Live on Reach One Network and on The Flow. I am Sean Garvey. Follow me, Sean Garvey, ATL. Uh, before we came back into the program, uh, what you just saw was a trailer of my new movie. Actually, I'm one of the actors, the voice over actors featured in the movie called Ed and Rooster's Great Adventure. Uh, I had the cast and the crew of the live action film on the Beat Break Morning Show last week. Uh, so be on the lookout for that episode on demand on Spotify and iHeart Podcast and on my online radio station podcast FM, 87 FM, 101 The Vibe FM in Atlanta and in Kentucky. Uh, and make sure you tell everybody to check out the movie uh, and you want to learn more information about Ed and Rooster's Great Adventure, you can go on the website. It is edandroostersgreatadventure.com. Uh, I should have the site up momentarily throughout the show or actually I'm just going to wait until towards the end of the show uh, to pull it up so that way you and yours can check out more information behind the film. So shout out to the cast and crew behind Ed and Rooster's Great Adventure. All right, so uh, before I bring up my daters, before I bring up the daters tonight on Soul Dates Live, uh, I want people to know that this is live television. <laughs> this is live, this is not just only streaming, but this is live television. And what I mean by that is anything can go awry. So I wanna make sure that I'm totally transparent with everyone that's listening and watching soul days live so we've been doing this show since summer of 2023 that was last year and uh we make it look good on tv we make it look good we make it look very very easy uh but behind the scenes <laughs> it's not what it's all cracked up to be at times you know uh especially when you have a list of daters that confirm or schedule to come on the show and then the night of the show 
they are a no show. They don't show up um, or whatever the case may be. But just like in show business, the show must go on because we're live. This is not pre-recorded. This is not pre-taped. This is live. Um, and anything that goes live, we can't take it back. The only thing we can do is keep going so that way we can give you the best in quality programming. All right. Uh, so with that being said, uh, tonight we actually were supposed to have um, like at least eight to ten daters come on tonight's show. Uh, this was going to be, it's still a special show, but it was going to be a little bit different from all of the past previous episodes that you have saw in the past. Um, but tonight we have our, we have some of the daters, not all of the daters, but we do have some of the daters um, that have took the time out of their busy schedule to come on to find their one. All right. So uh, right now I have, let's see, three guys in the queue including the mystery man now you follow me sean garvey atl and on facebook at sean garvey um i my team and i we put out the flyer uh with three women that were supposed to be a part of the first half of the dating game and that the mystery man was going to be the main dater the main bachelor uh for the first half and so I'm going to let the cat out the bag before we bring all of our daters onto the platform. Uh, the mystery man is me, yours truly, Sean Garvey. Can we get a hand clap for that? Can we? No? Okay, I'll just do it behind the scenes then. Oh, I know why. It's because I have this down again. <laughs> I told you guys it is live television. Let me bring that uh, applause back up there. Can we bring that? There we go. Um, so the mystery man is me. For the first half of the show, which is I, Sean Garvey. That's the reason why I have on this suit and tie, by the way. Uh, and we wanted to do something special because it is only a few days until my birthday, January 30th. I am turning the big ball. Oh, and um, I was going to try giving this another shot. If you remember in season one, I was on a speed dating uh, portion of the show. And uh, shout out to Kaya out there in L.A. Uh, Kaya picked me. I picked her. And we still friends to this very day. It didn't turn into anything serious. But we had fun. We had a great time. So I'm giving it a second shot along with three other bachelors that we have on. And I want to go ahead and see if our bachelorette is on before we bring up these gentlemen on. I want to go to her. Let's see. Uh terry lynn terry lynn are you there yeah yes hi. there you go hi good evening welcome to soul days live you are live on the air hi hi how are you doing this evening happy new year happy 2024 by the way thank you happy new year you too it's been beautiful it's been beautiful how about you i'm doing wonderful i am doing great i'm a little bit hot in this suit <laughs> but I wore, it for, I wore it for a special occasion uh, because I'm going to be one of the participants in this speed dating event, event tonight. So I'm definitely looking forward to it. So uh, Terry Lynn, just to give our viewers and our listeners some background information about yourself. You are an actress, an entrepreneur and a teacher. Yes. OK. All right. And just really quick, just give us like a brief story on how your dating life has been thus far um my dating life is a hilarious comedy i feel um if you know the movie dick and jane i, I am like that, that was one of my that's one of my favorite movies very funny <laughs> yeah it's very funny i feel like my dating life is just as much as funny as that was um things do not go necessarily in my uh favor it's because I have a terrible eye for picking. So hopefully today we can push past that and I can actually, you know, learn a little something from tonight. Even hearing the couple earlier, actually, yeah. that, that was beautiful. I loved hearing that. I love it. You took something away from it. Yes, definitely. That was beautiful. Love it. And, and I see at the bottom there, is your nickname or moniker Earth Angel? Yes, yes, it's a, it's a, it's a thing. <laughs> it's become a thing. Earth Angel, I like it, I like it. So Earth Angel, Terry Lynn, 
Chicago actress, teacher, entrepreneur. Uh, you are a Scorpio. Yes, I am. Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't have too many Scorpios in my <laughs> circle of friends or in my network. But I have maybe like two or three people that I know that are Scorpio. So big shout out to the Scorpio. We're, we're pretty hidden, if I say so. We, we hide. <laughs> All right. I love it. I love it. And so what are you looking for tonight on Soul Dates Live? What are you looking for? I would like to have someone genuine who I can have a good conversation with. Someone who maybe after here, we can potentially, you know, be able to still communicate. That would be nice. Um, I, I think more than ever, I'm looking for a connection. Yeah, because lately, you know, I don't know about dating for everyone else, but it's hard to get a genuine connection most times, you know, especially yes. if, um, you know, it comes to physical, you know, people just only care about the physical and that's about as far as, you know, things have gone. Okay. Well, hey, listen, it is 15 minutes before the bottom. Let's get into it. We're not going to drag this on too long because i know nicole and john are sitting back ready ready to watch all of the action so let's get into it you ready yes i'm excited <laughs> all right let's get to it let's get to it and i gotta go through these profile here uh so i'm i'm making sure that i don't miss anybody that is in the queue all right so let's start off with and i'm hope i'm saying your name right Wurton. is it Wurton? can you pronounce your name yeah it's Wurton. Wurton. Okay. Wurton, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Soul Days Live. Happy New Year. Wurton, how are you? I'm great. I'm great. Thanks so much for having me, Sean. It's a great opportunity to be here. Great. Absolutely. Say hello to Terry Lynn. Hi, Terry Lynn. How are you? Hi, how are you, Wurton? <laughs> I'm great. I, I was just listening to you, and, and I kind of have the same feeling, the same perspective about dating. Um, we have expression back home that we call spoil finger when you choose the wrong ones we spoil yeah. <laughs> yeah. well i have one <laughs> <laughs> all right so a little bit about Wharton. uh you are from toronto canada or you currently live in toronto canada uh you are an actor and a police officer if That's i'm correct. if i'm correct okay uh your zodiac sign virgo virgo Virgo. Okay. I, I don't know. Virgo and Scorpio go hand in hand. I'm still learning about this whole zodiac sign <laughs> thing, but <laughs> but it is all good. Uh a little bit more about yourself. When it comes to music, you love Latina, hip hop, electronic, and rock music. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay. And I'm I mean I'm eclectic. I like all type of music. I don't have um specific uh, preference, but mm -hmm. usually that's that's the type that I, I I usually listen okay okay cool all right and what are you looking for on tonight's soul days live well um i try dating apps i try um meeting people socially here in canada is a little bit complicated right to approach people in the restaurants and bars um back home in brazil is it's so common we go to a bar and we talk to people right and um and when I saw your ads, I was like, oh my gosh, that's a really great opportunity. And um, I already had a relationship previously in the United States. So it's not the first time um, uh, maybe I've been to someone from the uh, US. And I love traveling. That's my passion number one. I, I'm traveling all the time. So I expected I have opportunity to meet this incredible, beautiful woman. OK. All right. Well, let's see if we can make it happen for you tonight, all right? <laughs> Okay, let's go over to uh, Dater. Well, we're going to make this person Dater number two because he is not here. Uh, so let's go ahead and skip this individual. <laughs> dater number, let's go, let's do Dater number two. Let's do this one here. Uh, he has been on uh, Soul Days Live actually a week or two ago, ladies and gentlemen. And um, we, of course, were supposed to have two women on the show for him to choose from. And uh, Baron, you've been a very great sport, but we decided to have you back on because you two, just like us, we're trying to find love out here. We're trying to find love. So please welcome Baron back to Soul Days Live. Happy New Year, Baron. How are you? Happy New Year. Yeah, I'm doing great. Thank you so much for having me back. I'm really excited. Say hello to Terry Lynn. Hi. Hello, Terry Lynn. Hi. How are you? 
I'm I'm doing I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I just have to say you look very lovely tonight, and um and also I love um I just I love theater and performing as much as you do. So that's definitely one thing I know we both have in common. So okay, beautiful. I love that. I love that. Um, what's your sign, if you don't mind? Uh, my what? Your sign. Oh, um, uh, um, um, like a, like, um, what do you mean by sign? I'm sorry. Your zodiac. What is your zodiac sign? Oh, like, you okay, are... <laughs> okay, 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 okay. That's okay. Cool, cool. Uh, my zodiac sign is a monkey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm, okay. I'm the dragon, so that's okay. <laughs> cool, cool. I don't know whether to say that was a good answer or a political answer, but hey, you know, we're, we're going to go the, with monkey. It's, it's technically <laughs> okay. the Chinese zodiac. So I was like, okay. I okay. mean, right. I know okay. very little about that sort of thing, but. That's all right. Yeah, yeah. Everything's a learning experience. All right. Sure. Well, and uh, just a little bit of fun fact about Baron. You are from Colorado. You too are an actor. You are a singer. You are a dancer. Uh, you are a performer. Uh, you do many things. And we had you on on uh, Soul Days Live just telling our listeners and viewers a little bit more about yourself. So what are you looking for on tonight's Soul Days Live? Um, so so similar to what I mentioned uh, the first time, uh, I'm looking for a Wonder Woman, uh, not a uh, damsel in distress type woman, uh, you know, a woman who wants to, who really wants to work with me. So like, like we can work together kind of thing on relationships and on work and or like anything in life stuff in general. Um, and, you know, I love that. I, I definitely said that having a woman who loves performing on stage, loves dancing, uh, that's definitely a big bonus for me also. Um, so, so, yeah, that's the main thing, really. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's definitely you know it's definitely uh, the main thing. It's all about uh, you know finding that one, finding that peace right there. Uh, so you know, welcome, welcome again, welcome back to So Days Live. So let's see if we can help you out tonight. And uh, last but not least, uh, another returning favorite to So Days Live, ladies and gentlemen, uh, all the way from is it Springfield, Massachusetts? Yes, Springfield, Massachusetts. Yes. See, you, you're, you are familiar with that voice, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, he is a high-end fashion model, also an actor. We got a lot of actors on So Days Live tonight. I love it. Uh, he loves helping people become their greatest versions. He is also an author, artist, content creator, have multiple businesses, and a worldwide inspirational guide. You all give it up once again. This is his third time being on So Days Live. Brandon, better known as Smooth Double B. WB, WB, WB. How you doing? Happy New Year, Brandon. How are you? Yeah, it's been pretty good. How are you all doing today? Doing excellent. Doing great. Doing great. Doing great. Uh, so last, uh, well, not last question, but this question is for you, Brandon. What are you looking for? Because this is your third time now. This is your third time. <laughs> so, you know, they say third time is a charm. By the way, say hello to Terry Lynn, by the way. Oh, fellow Oath Angel, I met you in the astral realm, and now I'm hating you virtually, so I guess it's a match made in heaven, you know what I'm saying? I love that. I love that. Thank you. How are you? How are you? Yeah, I've been doing really good just seeing you now, you know, but how are you doing? Ashe, Ashe, I feel you. I, I love the spirit. I love the positive energy. So, what are some of your favorite things? Top two. Wait, 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 wait. We're going to get into that. We're getting into that, Terry Lynn. Wait, wait. She's ready to go. She's ready to go. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> okay she's ready all right so let's do this because like i said we were supposed to have another data come on uh they're having some technical difficulties on their end so i'm gonna help this person out i'm gonna be the i'm gonna be the fourth person i'm gonna be the fourth man I'm, we're gonna save the best for last no shade gentlemen <clears throat> but <laughs> but let's go ahead and start with data number one uh terry lynn of course this is where we talk about all things considered music and what have you. Uh, we're going to call this segment, let's see, let's see. Uh, first Date Out. That's the uh, name of the first segment. First Date Out, First Date Out. And First Date Out, this segment includes 
um, you asking him, what does the first date look like? Okay, so we're going to go to data one, Wharton, and you're going to pretty much repeat the question to Wharton, and Wharton is going to answer back over to you. First date out, what does the first date look like? And you got to include music in it. You got to include some type of music, whether it's a venue, concert, what have you. Uh, so let's go ahead with uh, round one, which is first date out. So um, go ahead, Terry Lynn. The floor is all yours. Okay. So um, what are some of your favorite music things that you like to do when you're first out on a date? Thanks so much for the opportunity to share. Um, Terling, uh, I believe the first day, of course, uh, we can go for a date. I would love to go to a place where we can actually have a conversation, get to know each other, right? As much as I love, as, as much I love a concert, for me, I don't think it's a, a good place for us to have a chat too loud. So I would love to go to a nice spot with a glass of wine have maybe a blues or jazz in the background it can be a live music but uh, we have opportunity to talk to each other get to know a little bit about your goals what you do and uh, what you're looking for and um and from there right if you decided to extend a little bit the date then we can go to a live music more like a you know more um uh, agitated place like more people but i would love 100 percent get to know like you're very interested, like for what I see already, very smiley, uh, <laughs> friendly. So I think that would be my option for sure. Okay. Okay. That sounds really fun. That sounds really <laughs> fun. I love that idea. So you prefer more like intimacy on a first date? Yeah. I would prefer have a, have opportunity to talk to you first. Yeah, to, and okay. then move, move from there for sure. Okay. I love that. I love that. <laughs> Um, am I supposed to actually respond? Uh, yeah, you're going to go to data number two. Now, data number two is Baron, and you're going to ask Baron the same question. Alrighty. Hi, Baron. Hello. Hey, so on the first date out, what are some things that you would like to do, and what kind of music would you like to include? Um, so usually on a first date, date um i like to take a very traditional i guess i like to, i love to take a woman out to a nice dinner uh, to a fancy restaurant you know um definitely it's the time to get to know you and to hear about your likes your dislikes what you do for a living that sort of thing and then after and then afterwards if you like to be with me a little longer then i usually like to um maybe go to a to a park or something like that and very um, usually I'll pull out like a like a Bluetooth uh, speaker or something like that, <laughs> and I'll just turn on some music and I'll just and I'll just say let's dance, let's oh, really? just, yeah let's let's dance and follow the the moment and that sort of thing. Um, and uh, I'm I'm uh, I'm not um yeah and I would say uh, my uh, my two favorite uh, pieces of music are definitely uh, pop music and uh broadway show to type music. okay okay i i definitely love broadway so we're we're here <laughs> i love that and i love going to the park so that's amazing okay okay that is super cute quaint i like it yeah all right it's time for you to go to data number three brandon hi brandon hey what's up what's up so, on the first time out, what would you like to include and what type of music would you like to include on our first date? Okay, so for the first date, why right, it's going to be something special. So, I, I won't really tell you what we're going to do because it's going to be a secret. So, but I'll tell you what we're going to do on our second date. So, on our <laughs> second date, why right, we're going to go... <laughs> Wait, I want you to like close your eyes real fast and just visualize with me real fast, okay? Okay, so we're gonna go hiking, right? And then while we're walking on the hiking and whatnot, what? We're gonna have a picnic by the beach, 
way because you know i'm a chef so like i mean cooking up that vegan stuff you already know the vibes right and then while we on the beach right we can get to sun gaze as well because we gotta have that sun of course you know mm-hmm. and then during the night we're gonna stargaze over the mountain tops and listen to some smooth r b music Ooh, okay you're giving smooth criminal okay you know the vibes I like it. Cool. Okay, okay. You know, I had to put that music on in the background there for uh Brandon <laughs> once he started talking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now it's my turn. It's it's my turn, Terry Lynn. So it's I don't know how to come behind Brandon. I don't know how to I don't know how to come behind Brandon, but <laughs> I'm gonna give it a try. All right, go ahead, Terry Lynn. Hi, how are you, Hello? Sean? Hello. I am doing well. Let me stop. <laughs> What's going on, Terry? How you doing? I'm doing really good. So good. can I ask you a question? You may. What would you do on the first day out with me? And what music would you include? Sure. That is such a great question. So I am a beach guy, right? Uh, I'm also a walk in the park type of person. When it's sunny outside, I like to uh, first talk with you and and talk to you to get to know a little bit more about you and find out what music interests you're into because I'm a very big music guy, just like I love other things pertaining to all things considered entertainment. Um, But I like to take a walk on the park, uh, converse with you, learn as much as I can you're I'm cutting in. out yes oh, can you hear me i can hear you you can hear me okay i was saying because you are in chicago i am a fan of common i'm also oh. a fa- i'm also a fan of lupe fiasco and i'm also a fan of jennifer hudson all of them are chicago natives and yes, so indeed indeed so if there was like ever a concert event happening i would love to take you out to check out uh those artists that are performing in chicago uh and just get just enjoy some great music you know just like uh dave Chappelle's block party you know i'm also a kanye west well an old kanye west fan not the new kanye west but the old kanye west fan <laughs> and uh you know take you to like a live concert enjoy some great 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 music some soulful music because chicago has that soulful vibe of course and um also just later on in the day you know enjoy some jazz i'm a a jazz type of guy so uh just to take a break away from all the heavy stuff and what have you just uh sit down and have a glass of wine um at a lounge or a bar or somewhere or at a restaurant and talk over some wine and get to know more about each other so that's my first date out with you okay i love the wine you know it's the sweet wine for me okay i love yeah. the sweet wine. and i love i love the quaint days i love that i love going to the park that that is the number one if you say you want to go to the park nine times out of ten i'm like okay perfect i love it Super let's go fun. Let's go. Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was the first round, first date out, ladies and gentlemen, right here on So Dates Live. You all give yourselves a hand. That was a great. We can't hear you. You can't hear me? How, how, can you all hear me now? Okay, perfect. Yeah. yeah, I was asking. Let me repeat the question. How are you feeling thus far, Terry Lynn? Um, this is fun. This is super fun. Uh, but I, I really, I want to see what type of music everyone's listening to. You know, like their artists. Like I feel like that's how you really get to know people is through like their mm-hmm. favorite artists. Okay. All right. Cool. 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 Well, you're going to learn more. You're going to learn more tonight. 
right here on Soul Dates Live. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and get into round two. Round two, and this is going to be quite interesting. Everyone, it's called Date Me, Sex Me, and Marry Me, or Marry Me. <laughs> and so, what this is about is that each guy, Terry Lynn, that you go to, including myself. You got to ask who would what musical artist would you go on a date with, have sex with, or marry? Okay, that does that sound fair? Does it does that make sense? Yes, yes, it does. Okay, cool. All right, and you are you guys, I gotta do this off the top of your dome. You can't Google an artist or anything like that. <laughs> you gotta go off the top of your dome for this one. Okay, so let's. Go ahead to Workton, and uh, I'm going to let you have the floor, uh, floor, Terry Lynn and Workton. Let's do it. So Days Live, round two. Sex me, or actually date me, sex me, and marry me. Let's do it. Hi, Workton. Hey. Hey. So I I think I'm, I'm going to ask you, what is your date me song? Wow, it's it's really hard, but I think I would date Cassie. She's RB artist. She's not like a old school one. Yeah. 2004, she started to actually boom in a, in a market in the industry, right? Uh, mm -hmm. I think she's really cute and she, um, I love the way she sings. Um, so I would go for a date with her for sure. Okay, okay. Um, what about your favorite sexy song? Oh, sorry. Is it? Can you repeat again? Sorry. What is your favorite sexy song? Oh, this song. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, I think I, I think she meant to ask. Yeah, just I'm just chiming in. Like, who would you have sex with? What musical artist? Who would you have sex yes. with? Have intimate with? Yeah. Oh, okay. But, yeah, yeah. But but I will answer her question as well, just because I don't want to. I want to make sure that she has the answer. I would probably use uh, "Get You." I don't know if you ever heard about this song. It's really the night. Ah, I forgot the name of the artist right now. But it's just a listen tonight, you understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> Get you. Yeah. Okay. Um, I would choose probably the old, not right now, because I think she's too crazy right now, but the old Britney Spears. When she was younger, I would okay. choose her for sure. Yeah. And uh yeah, she was very interesting, very um um how can you say strong personality. Uh Ooh. now now is very complicated situation, but before I, I had a crush on Okay, well what about your favorite Mary artist? What person would you want to marry? I Beyonce. Think. Of course. I would I too. Think, uh, yeah, I think she's a mix of everything I'm looking for. Not 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 just a sexy, beautiful woman, but extremely smart and uh, entrepreneur as well. So I think she has all the quality. Family. She's in a relationship for so many years. The same guy. So there is loyalty involved. There is a go as a couple, and I think she is an example for many artists. So definitely Beyonce. I love that. I love Beyonce. <laughs> yes, Beyonce. I love Beyonce. Yeah. All right. All right. Who wouldn't want to not marry Beyonce? I, ho I hope Sean Carter is not listening. <laughs> but that was a good answer. That was a good answer. Okay. Let's go over to data number two, Baron. Hi, Baron. Hello. Hi. So, uh, what is your favorite date song, or what person would you date? Um, um, who is being, a singer? Oh, oh, yeah, um, <laughs> oh man, there's so many of them. Um, I guess the date one, I would probably have to say maybe a uh, lady, um, Lady Gaga, um, just be, uh, just because, um, like, um, like, um, for, for a long time, um, I guess, uh, I thought she was older than me because of all the makeup and all the hairdos and all the all the stuff like that. Um, but then like after I saw her in A Star Is Born with Bradley Cooper, I was just like, wow, she just looks more naturally beautiful and that's her thing. Um, 
And plus, of course, you know, she has an amazing voice. You know, she's a great dancer. She's definitely one of those triple threats. So, you know, that'd be cool. I agree. I, I love Lady Gaga, but I'm an old Lady Gaga fan. I like her old mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what is someone that you would have sex with who is a singer? Uh huh. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, wow. Um, okay, I'm gonna have to say uh, Jennifer Lopez because, um, especially after I saw her um, in the, a couple of years ago when she did that halftime uh, Super Bowl show with uh, Shakira. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm just I'm just glad that I was wearing my dance belt that night. <laughs> You're funny. You are funny. Okay, I love that. Um, <laughs> what singer would you marry? Um, um, I guess I guess I would have to say maybe Ju maybe Julian Huff, uh, uh, Derek Huff's sister from Dancing with the Stars and that sort of thing. Uh, just because, like, just because again, she's one of those triple triple threats. I mean, she can not only dance, but she has a great voice and she can definitely act. And um, yeah, I would say her. Okay, I love that. Awesome. awesome. Why, why are we getting quiet? Why are we getting quiet? It's Brandon's turn. <laughs> it's Brandon. oh. Did we do a, did we do a mate? Uh, marry me? Did we do a marry me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, okay. Doing how? Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. All right. Let's let's go to Brandon. Let's go to yeah. Go ahead and fix it. Fix your hair. Fix your hair. All right. <laughs> Are you still on a date? All right. Let's, we got. Uh, we still got two more daters, Terry Lynn. We got Brandon and we got yours truly. So let's go over to uh, data number three. Brandon. Hi. Oh, what's up? What's up? How are you? Yeah, I'm in vibe and vibe and you know. So Awesome. Well, I want to know who, as a singer or artist, would you want to date? So today I would say Rihanna because she's just multifaceted and into a lot of different things. So like she can tap me into different things and I can help her grow in different aspects as well. So. I love that. If you can help Rihanna grow, you are needed. Okay, you are needed. <laughs> you know, spiritually and mentally, you know. What I'm <laughs> so, um, if there were to be a singer or an artist, who would you want to have sex with? Uh, I would say the single Tyler, who sings Waddle. Um, so. Hmm. Yeah, I'll probably pick cool. I don't think I know what that is. I'm so sorry. Oh, um, she made that TikTok song, like, Waddle. I don't know if you know or not, but... Mm -mm. But, uh, but yeah. let's see. We have one more. If there were to be a singer or an artist, who would you marry and why? Oh. I would say Alicia Keys, just because I can tell that she has a nurturing side of her and she will be like of support as well. So I can get that soft side from her as well, but also that go get her mindset as well. So I would pick Alicia Keys. I love that. I love that. That is beautiful. Okay. Awesome. All right, all right, all right. Good answers, good answers so far, fellas. But it's my turn now. Uh, <laughs> Terry Lynn. All right, go ahead. Hi, Sean. How are you? Hey, I am still doing good, Terry Lynn. Good, good. I'm I like glad. saying your name. And by the way, you smell beautiful from over here. You know what's crazy? Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you smell because I really did good. make sure that I was fresh. Hair is washed, okay? Yeah. <laughs> um so i have a couple questions okay and i got a couple of answers if there were to be an artist or a performer who would you date and why 
Oh, an artist that I would date, yes. it would have to be, oh, that is a good question. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I would say the person I would go on a date, mm -hmm. Alicia Keys. I'm yeah. sorry, Swiss Beats, but it, th I'm just saying. <laughs> I would say I would go on a date with Alicia Keys I because I love her intelligence. I love her uh, energy, her synergy. She has a peaceful vibe. Um, I would definitely love to go on a date with Alicia Keys just because of her positive synergy, her positive energy. So I would go on a date with her. Yes. Who would I have sex with? I know that's <laughs> the question you about to ask me. Yes, it is. <laughs> Okay. I want to hear it from you. I want to hear it. I want to hear it from you. I think you sound good when you ask the question. <laughs> well, thank you. So, Sean, if there were to be any performer or artist, who would you have sex with and why? <sighs> Janelle Monet. Oh. I would definitely have sex with Janelle Monet. I love her free spirited vibe. Ooh and that she doesn't have no limitations yeah. on what she can do on an intimate level. Mm. Yeah. yeah, she does look like a freak, long story short, what you trying to say, I get it. Hey. She looks fun. Looks fun. Hey. <laughs> she does. So I have one more question for you, is that okay? Sure, that is fine. Okay, Sean. So if there were to be any performer or artist, who would you marry and why? If there had to be any performer, I would say Terry Lynn. <laughs> <laughs> I would say Terry Lynn. I would Bro. marry. Uh, That's the best answer tonight. Wow. I love that. <laughs> Can we get him a round of applause for that, Terry Lynn? I would say Terry Lynn. Uh, well, you know what? I would say it would be a tie between Terry Lynn and huh, at first I, you know who my crush was back in the day it was yeah. it was erica badu oh it was I, it was erica badu yeah but if i had to choose between erica badu and terry lynn i would say terry lynn i do oh i just dropped the bar <laughs> i just dropped the bar i just dropped a, a bar there wow <laughs> I was about to say congratulations. Shout out uh, a round of applause to all the gentlemen out there. Those were great answers as well, too. That all was right. awesome. so, yeah. 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 So before we go into round three, before we go into round three, and if we have time, we got the bonus round. Uh, Terry Lynn, how do you feel about the answers so far and all four gentlemen? Um, you know, I love Beyonce. The Beyonce, uh, you had me. I said, oh, okay, we're on, we're on to something. Um, Erica Baidu, I do too. <laughs> hey. I like that. Um, Rihanna is my wife. So that's, that's funny that, that you want that to be your wife. So we're here. We're here. Um, this has been super fun, though. It's, it's awesome to see everyone's answers. I love this. This has been super awesome. <laughs> awesome, awesome. All right. Okay, so let's do it. Uh, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. We are almost at the final stretch here of Soul Dates Live. Uh, we still have all of our bachelors, including myself. This is a special one, ladies and gentlemen. So let's go ahead and get into round three. And round three is Ken We talk now this round is where the tables turn and all four male daters must ask you a question any question they must ask you a question and you have the answer to the best of your ability so let's start with dater number one uh darling <laughs> hi again I have just a short opportunity to talk to you, but I hope we can 100% talk again. Um, Chicago is a place that I have been many times. So I'm looking forward to go to Chicago. It's not that far from Toronto. Um, 
And my question for you is, if I go to Chicago in the next two months, where in Chicago would you take me for, to get to know the city or to explore? What do you like to do? I would definitely recommend going down to the Bean. We have to see it. It is this really nice area where we can go and take pictures and we can walk around in the snow and they dress up like the whole entire downtown area. So, I mean, I, I love to walk. I think that would be really nice. And maybe we can go and get, hmm. I would want to get cocktails. So maybe I'll take you to one, I think it's called SNR Lounge. We can go there and that will be super fun. That's what I would do if you were to come back up. Yes. It's just one question, Sean. Because <laughs> I can't keep going here. I have a lot to ask. <laughs> you, you, you have you can only you can limit to just only three. You got oh, two three. more. Two more? Okay. Two more. Caroline? Yes. So uh what's your goal for uh, 2024? What you looking for yourself? What what do you want? Mm, I'm so glad you asked. Out of 2024. I want to achieve harmony and balance in my life. I feel like a lot of times I find myself getting the things I want, but not being appreciative, right? Or not getting something and wishing for more. I want to finally be in a state where I am really harmonized and balanced and throughout my entire life. If I can, that would be my goal by the end of 2024. That's amazing. Thank you. And my last question, I think is the most important question. Okay. <laughs> I'm in the United States. I'm in Canada. Yes. Uh, I don't mind traveling. Yes. But I need to ask this question. Would you move from um, Chicago to other country or you, you don't see yourself doing that? Truthfully, yes, I would. I love traveling. I love going across okay. the world. Um, yes, especially if it's Paris. Yes. Ooh. We have to. We have to go. <laughs> All right. That was data number one. That was data number one. Now it is on to data number two. Hello, Kai and Leah. Hi. You know, if I hadn't said it earlier, you look very lovely. Thank you. Thank you. So, so Kailina, um, so I guess my first two uh, main questions would be, um, if, um, if, uh, what, what type of, like, if we were, um, if we were to go, um, to see, like, a Broadway musical, for example, um, uh, my two, uh, my two questions would be, um, uh, would you, would you, um, so the close the closest city uh, to me where they actually have like Broadway musicals and that sort of thing would be Denver, Colorado. Yeah. So my so my so my so the two questions are: Would you would you come come all the way to Denver to see a musical with me? And what exactly is your favorite musical, or do you have a favorite musical? Oh my gosh! I'm so glad you asked. Yes, I am addicted to the Phantom of the Opera. Um, that is one of my most original. I actually, that was the first I've, I've ever performed. So I, I love Phantom of the Opera. And Denver, Colorado, is it really cold? Uh, um, it's, uh, it, um, it's usually, it's usually around like, I would say like, like um, near, like near the end of December in Jan, in January. Where like um, where it can easily it could sometimes get to like maybe below below zero, but again, uh, I so I'm in Crested Butte, Colorado, which is like the highest the highest altitude in Colorado. So we're so we definitely experience more cold air than Denver. I would at least that's my opinion. Yeah. Okay. Um, as long as it's not too cold. Got it. If we if we can get toasty, I'm down. That sounds super fun. Cool. Um, 
Uh, okay, so then uh, that was a good question. Yeah. So, so then my third question is, would you, um, um, I guess the biggest question I would have as far as being in a relationship with someone is, do you ever consider actually wanting, wanting to have kids? Yes, I would love to have children. And I currently have a child. Oh, okay. Nice. <laughs> okay, okay. That was data number two, data number two. Now let's go over to data number three. Once again, just a reminder, you have two more daters, uh, Terry Lynn. Uh, we got Brandon, data number three. Terry Lynn, Terry Lynn, just imagine me whispering that in your ear, but we won't get to that. We won't get to that. Okay. <laughs> but, um, all right. So my three questions are, I see that you're an old angel. So when did you start to like your spiritual awakening or like your spiritual journey? Thank you for asking. Um, I've been on this spiritual journey for about six years and it kind of, um, it, the peak of it was 2021. I actually, I know this might be different, but I was married at 18 and I divorced at 21. And um, I ended up like getting like, I guess a intuitive thought that he was cheating on me. And uh, I was correct and he had a baby on me. And uh, I became like a social media influencer off of like my intuition. So everyone was like, what? And I'm like, yeah. And uh, from there, I have always trusted God since and have been following the light and it's been beautiful. Yeah, that's really powerful how you can be like an alchemist and really switch that negative situation to a positive one. Actually. Absolutely, thank you. Thanks. <laughs> And then my next question is like, what have you learned from like your past relationship or like any of your your past relationship? What have I, I'm sorry? Oh, what have you like learned from like your past relationships? I think I learned a lot of patience. You have to be patient. Um, in general, we are two different species, man, woman. We have to compromise, you know? So that means we have to, to come to an understanding. I feel like a lot of the past, there was a lot of miscommunication, but I think miscommunication comes from like the fear of communicating. And um, I think I've learned throughout dating, communication, patience is a virtue and it's needed. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Then my last question is, what's your favorite color? <laughs> my favorite color is yellow. <laughs> bad, bad, bad. It's yellow. <laughs> all right. He's trying to get to know all about you tonight, Terry Lynn. I like it. <laughs> I like it. All right. One more data, Terry Lynn. One more data. You know who it is. So <laughs> let's get to it. <laughs> why, are you, why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? I'm blushing. I'm blushing. Okay. All right. Okay. It's all good. All right. So, um, let me see. Question number one: What does love mean to you? Hmm. That that is a really good question. Um, love to me is, is genuine. I feel like there are a lot of things people do because they want to make you feel some type of way. They, they're trying to grab, grab some type of emotion from you. But when you find a connection that's genuine, when it's just like, oh, let me rub your feet because I want to touch some toes. I'm like, <laughs> really? <laughs> you know, that's a whole different story. Like, for me, it's it's genuineness. It's, that's important. Okay. All right. My second question to you, and I'm going to steal this question. It's not so much of a steal. 
Um, but I'm going to use this question that somewhat alludes to my conversation with Nicole and John earlier in the program. What are your top three love languages? Oh, that's a beautiful question. Thank you for asking. Um, my top is quality service. I think it's qu uh, quality. quality time or active <laughs> service. Active service. Thank you. It's active service. Um, I love getting help because I'm a busybody and I can be a super lady all day long, but sometimes I need someone to say, Hey, I got it. You know, um, then it is quality time. I love spending genuine time and just being in each other's energy. And then I would have to say physical affection. Physical touch. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I definitely love, love being touched. Cause I, I feel like this is, come on. Like, yeah, this is, this is it. I love that. I love the <laughs> body to body. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, one last question from me. Yes. So my birthday is coming up. Like I mentioned earlier. Yeah. Uh, what would you consider the ideal birthday if me and you were on a date on my birthday? Mm. Well, since your birthday is cold, we'd have to figure, you know what? We should go skiing. That sounds super fun. And not only that, but there's a lot of ski resorts. So we could definitely rent some skis. They're only like 50 bucks, not too bad. And I definitely recommend we drink a little wine before. Give us some confidence and some courage. <laughs> and then afterwards, we should totally have the movie in the back of my car. That'd be super fun. Set up okay. everything, open it up, watch outside, watch movies inside. I love that. Okay. All right, I like it. I like it. All right. All right. Uh, great answer from everybody from all the guys. All right, so we're at the top of the hour, and we to stretch it just because we want to uh, take the time to get all of the folks in. Um, we're going to do this thing called Be Report. That's the moment. That are watching us on YouTube and all the other streaming platforms to vote and decide who you think Terry Lynn should go on a soul date with. All right. But before we go into viewers' choice and while we do the viewers' choice during break, um, before we go into that, Terry Lynn, go around all four of us and ask us. Why should we pick you? Why should why should why should we go on a date with you? You got and, and each guy has 60 seconds to answer. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Starting with data one. Alrighty. Wharton, why would you why would I why should I go on a date with you? Oh um <laughs> I'm a little bit shy, sorry. Um, yeah, so I believe you should go on a date with me first. Um, we are kind of the same page. You have a child. I have a daughter. She's 15 years old and I'm a solo parent. I don't have her mom. So it's just me. Um, I think I work myself a lot to be where I am right now. So I feel ready to share my time, my moment with somebody. Um, I also came in from a very hard situation. So um, I learned a lot. I think the last, I would say one a year and a half, I did a lot of work to be open to date somebody again. And I'm in the best moment in my life right now. I love traveling. I love going to Chicago. Uh, I also, you say you like hot weather. I'm from Brazil. So vacations in Brazil. I love uh, yeah and uh yeah and uh i'm already i'm ready to build a family build a really amazing life you got i'm a hard worker i'm like you i do policing i do acting i also interpret room i invest money and um 
And I think we would have a really amazing time in Chicago or in Toronto or whatever. Wow. I love <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. Beautiful. Thank you. I love that. And Baron? Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. So, Baron, why should I go on a date with you? So, I, so definitely a lot of reasons. One is because we definitely have similar interests as far as like um, theater, um, um, as far as like, you know, uh, the uh, we all have the same goals as far as relationship, uh, relationships, which is a uh, communication. Communication is really, really important for a long lasting relationship. Um, you mentioned, um, you mentioned, um, uh, I think you mentioned earlier about skiing or, or skiing on mountains or that sort of thing. So yeah. uh, I'm I'm definitely I'm a lift operator. I can show you around the mountains, not only in the winter but in the summer. We could go hiking. We could go rock climbing. Um, I'm a very active per person like that. And and also I think you mentioned something about finding a place to truly uh, belong or live. Um, yeah. I, I can tell you, I can tell you right now, Col uh, Colorado, um, especially where I live, Crested Butte is paradise. There's really? no other place in the United States like it. So. Um, I love that, Baron. I love that. Okay. Okay. And Brandon? Yeah, so, you know, it was written in the stars, fellow Oath Angel. <laughs> like, I can not only teach you different things, but I can also awaken your mind, body, and soul. And plus, like, Geminis and Scorpios do match. So, I mean, similar interests, you know? Okay. So, but Brandon? Uh, all right. Hi, Sean. How are you? Hi. All right. Oh, there we go. I am good. I'm good. I was just waiting for a brand in to finish up, you know, with the smooth vibe. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> All right. I mean, I'm like, I'm like, can I go on a date with Brandon? I mean, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, Sean, I have a question for you. All right. Why should I go on a date with you? You, Terry Lynn, should go on a date with me because I think we have a lot of things in common. Um, I am funny, as you can tell. Um, I have a very positive energy. And you know what? Um, I have learned from my past experiences and relationships that it's not about you. It's about the both of us. It's about two people making it work. And after listening to Nicole and John that finally got it right, it made me even more inspired and motivated to find somebody like you to get to learn from, to get to build with, potentially build with, and to just see what else is out there. Um, I'm also open-minded. I'm outgoing. I have a little bit of free spirited energy in me yeah. and I, I think that we're gonna have a great time um as long as we put in the work because of course relationships do come with work yeah. and um at the same time we can go out and explore what life has to offer to us and i like the fact that you care for your child and I always wanted a family. And so another reason to pick me is because um, I have like a fatherly vibe. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, I, I, I'm at the point in my life, at the point in my age where um, I don't want to make it about me anymore. I want to make it about having a family, having somebody to build with and just be able to find somebody that I could potentially grow with. Uh, and then the last thing is, like I said, I'm free spirited. I'm open minded. I am very secure within myself. I'm not a jealous person. Um, I'm. I can go whatever direction you want to take us in. 
and vice versa. So that's why I have a great candidate for the position. <laughs> okay, okay. And, and I love that. That's very important to me. Um, because in dating, being a single mom, yeah, it, it's tough, you know, um, because you do need to find the fatherly type, you know. So, yeah, I, I very much appreciate those answers. Thank you. Thank you. Well, once again, let's give it up for all of our contestants, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Let's give it up for all of them. Give it up for all of them right here on So with Sean Garvey and our data. So we're going to take a break, uh, everyone. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to do this quick segment called Viewer's Choice. We are going to allow the viewers that are watching right now to vote on who they feel Terry Lynn should go on a date with. Will it be contestant data number one, Winton? Did I say Winton or Wharton? Wharton? Uh, it's Wur Wharton. Wharton. Okay, Wharton. Yeah. Wharton. Wharton. Data number one. Data number two, Baron. Data number three, Brandon. Or data number four, me. <laughs> 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 go ahead and vote now you can put it in the comment section on beat break radio on youtube youtube channel beat break radio uh go ahead and put those votes in i will uh announce who got the most votes and terry lynn can go with either the viewer's choice or go with her gut on who she wants to go on a date with all right so we will be right back and terry lynn's gonna make the decision on who she want to go on a date with right stay tuned it is Flow Dates Live on Reach One Network and on the Flow Television Network. Anticipate potential delays for the morning commute. In other news, a recent government report on prescription drug pricing points to corporate mouth... Freedom of the press is about your right to know. What are you talking about, man? Look at his stats. It's about your right to be informed. Your right to access all types of information keeps us free as a nation. No, 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 no. Today, there are real threats to press freedom. residential areas by... And your right to know about the world around us. Look. Some threats are obvious. Some are easy to miss. But they all put our way of life at risk. We must defend against all of these threats, no matter what kind of news is important to you. Justified putting American troops in harm's way. That's a great question. We must protect our right to know before it's too late. Understand the threats. Protectpressfreedom.org. Anticipate potential delays for the morning commute. In other news, a recent government report on prescription drug pricing points to corporate mouth. Freedom of the press is about your right to know. What are you talking about, man? Look at his stats. It's about your right to be informed. Your right to access all types of information keeps us free as a nation. No, 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 no. Today, there are real threats to press freedom. residential areas by... And your right to know about the world around us. Look. Some threats are obvious. Some are easy to miss. But they all put our way of life at risk. We must defend against all of these threats, no matter what kind of news is important to you. Justified putting American troops in harm's way. That's a great question. We must protect our right to know before it's too late. Understand the threats. Protectpressfreedom.org. I'm Ben Affleck, and I want to thank you for joining me and supporting Paralyzed Veterans of America. I joined the Navy to serve my country as a Navy SEAL. While parachuting with my platoon, my parachute didn't open. And I broke my neck. It left me paralyzed. Paralyzed Veterans of America was by my side from that moment on. Since 1946, Paralyzed Veterans of America has kept a promise to our wounded veterans. We will never leave a fallen comrade behind. Thanks to PVA, Paralyzed veterans are getting specialized medical care and treatments. The benefits they've earned, the jobs they want, 
and the accessible vehicles and homes they need. I just don't think my family would be as happy as they are without the support that I received from Paralyzed Veterans of America. Our veterans fought for us. Let's fight for them. To learn more, go to pva.org today. You've messed up your son's haircut. Mom? Mm -hmm. Do you A, try to fix it? Like it never happened. B, work with what you got? Or C, show solidarity? Thank you, baby. As a parent, there are no perfect answers. But you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. Your daughter just had her first breakup. Do you A, put yourself in her shoes? <laughs> B, console her? Don't worry, sweetie. This is gonna happen a lot. Or C, find her a new boyfriend. Nice, single boys. <laughs> that was weird. As a parent, there are no perfect answers, but you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Getting that college education. What are you gonna do? Graduate and take some office job? Be like everybody else. Or will you dare do something different? Like be a teacher. Be my teacher. Be my teacher. You could be my teacher. You got the skills. The smarts? Yes, you. You could be the teacher I never forget. That would be cool. Does that corporate job even have recess? We need more teachers. We need more great teachers. Teachers like you. What are you going to make of yourself? What are you going to make of me? Thank you. You got a king? Go fish! It only takes a moment to make a moment. Take time to be a dad today. Live with a human for a while and you get to know a few things. Like, I know she's actually not a morning person. I know she does strange tricks for no treats. I know that water makes her howl like crazy. I even know how the floor stays so clean. She's quick. But the one thing I will never for the life of me know is how she gets so tiny and inside that box. Natalie, how do you get so tiny? All right, and we are back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Soul Dates Live on Reach One Network and on the Flow Television. And don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, at the bottom of your screen, there is the ticker. If you would like to support the show, all you got to do is cash app us, dollar sign reach, number one communications, cash app us. And also, you can go to Patreon if you are a Patreon subscriber. Patreon.com forward slash Reach One Communications. Uh, you may not see them, but I have Nicole and John uh, in the queue here. Um, I don't know if they want to speak or not. I think they just want to watch the show. So, um, But so far, they are enjoying the show from what I learned. I appreciate Nicole and John hanging out watching the show and enjoying every minute of it so dates live okay it is about that time that time we still have all of our bachelors including myself sean garvey data number one data number two data number three and our main data our bachelorette terry lynn who is about to make her decision let's go over to the chats here in real time live time uh we did viewers choice and so let's go to the viewers choice and in the comments here uh we got change nonprofit organization they said that uh terry lynn should go with data four who's that brandon <laughs> 
I'm just joking. Uh, data four. Data four. Uh, okay, I don't know who Data four is. Let me stop. I'm, I'm playing. I'm playing, y'all. All right. Uh, also in the chat, Data four. Ashley. So Terry Lynn should go with Data four. Okay. What about the other guys? What about the other guys? Come on, keep those comments going. Keep those comments going. Uh, and we want to acknowledge them. Who Terry Lynn should go on a date with? Okay, so we got data one, Wharton, data number two, Baron, data number three, Brandon, and data four, which is Sean. Oh, I'm data four. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. ADHD. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so keep those uh, comments coming in, ladies and gentlemen. Beat Break Radio, put it in the comment section. And for anybody that did not get picked tonight, will be selected to be on the next soul dates live and this time will be the main data to pick who they want to go on a date with so that is the good news okay so we don't have any losers on tonight's show we don't believe in losers but we are definitely going to have who did not get selected back on the show to be the one to be the main data for the next soul dates live okay all right, so Terry Lynn, I know you're getting ready to make your decision. Oh, let's see. Uh, okay. Why do I think it's the same person? <laughs> this might be a different one. Uh, beautifully uh, favorite Ashley says data number two. Uh, data number two, that happens to be Baron. Okay. All right, data. All right, cool. Cool. All right. Uh, let's go over to Terry Lynn. Any last words before you make your final decision, Terry Lynn? Am I allowed to ask one last question for everyone? To uh, to all four guys or all four? All four. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. You know what? Since since it is MLK holiday weekend, we're gonna go ahead and break a rule a little bit <laughs> in the spirit of MLK. Martin Luther King Jr. That's that's why I'm not wearing this suit. I'm not wearing the suit because of MLK. But I'm wearing it for a reason. I just told you guys. Um, but yes, go ahead. Uh, you can ask the question to all four guys. Let's do it. Okay. Well, for all four guys, what is your biggest turn on and your biggest turn off? Cool. Can they start? I mean, the day's number one. So it starts. Uh, for me... The biggest turn on is intelligence. I think uh, having a smart woman intelligent uh, in many different ways. It's not just about uh, intellectual. There's intelligence means different things for different. Yeah. So I think that's one thing. And the biggest turn off is someone that play a game in a relationship. I don't like that. I like to feel I'm in a moment in my life where I, I want peace. So I want to make sure that my partner, we are on the same page and um, we are building something together without game, right? We have a lot of stress things outside of the relationship. We don't need anything else. Yeah. Okay. I love that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. You said you wanted to ask all four guys. Let's go. Let's keep, keep it moving. Data number two, Baron, let's go. Okay. I was just waiting to hear a name or something. <laughs> uh, so I I would say the biggest turn on for me, it would have to be maturity. Um, it's like I said, it's like I said, uh, similar to what I said before. Uh, I, I like a person who is a wonder woman, not a damsel in distress type of person. Like someone who is willing to, is willing to grow with me, um, to adapt with me. Um, and, and that sort of thing. And then the biggest turnoff is, um, I would have to say hitting on, hitting on you, even if they don't, if they, they don't mean it, you know, like I've been in so many situations where women are, are constantly hitting on me or they'll even physically like, you know, kiss me or whatnot. And I'll get, be all, I'll be all turned on at first. And then all of a sudden, I'll just find out later on, like, well, wait a minute, wait a minute, they were just joking around, or like, wait a minute, they're they're actually married or something. I mean, that's a really that's a really big turn off for me. I just don't I don't like that. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Um, and Brandon. Oh yeah, so I'll be quick with mine. So my biggest tone on is would be someone who's like spiritually in tune with the universe and who's like emotionally mature 
then my biggest tone off is someone who's being like toxics because I've done like so much healing and woke on myself that I don't want someone to interrupt my peace. Yes, yes. All righty, and Sean. Yes. Okay. My biggest turn on. Mm-hmm. Uh, my biggest turn on is for my person to challenge me intellectually uh intellectually like i love being challenged i love learning new things about that person and i think that is very sexy uh from a physical standpoint from a physical aspect the eyes i love the eyes it just tells a story to me that i think is very sexy very turn on ish so it's the eyes learning about that person's story through their eyes, you know? Um, so their intellectual, um, their energy, their vibe, and just how they treat people, you know, just having a very down to earth soul. That is what turns me on the most. Absolutely. Okay. Beautiful. And your biggest turn off? My turn off is a person who lacks humility that is my turn off a person who lacks humility and who overthinks a lot you know those, I, I i know that's two but overthinking and lacking of humility and especially in the world that we in right now we need humility more than ever before yeah. so it's a turn off if a person don't have compassion for other people uh, or don't have compassion for himself or herself um, that's a turn off and overthinking like don't overthink because it's just going to put you in a panic mode and that's why I'm here that's why I'm here because you need that teammate you need that teammate to kind of balance things out with you and what have you so that way you won't overthink that much but if you are overthinker that's that's a turn off Okay. Okay. I'm done with my questions. You're done with your, are you sure? Is that your, yeah. that's your final answer? <laughs> okay. All right. Well, let's, once again, let's give it up for all of our contestants. Uh, all four guys here. Uh, we got people tuning in. Shout out, shout out, shout out, uh, big shout out to everybody tuning in on IG uh once again if you're late don't worry we got the show on demand uh you can go on youtube right now don't forget to click the subscribe button and please subscribe to our youtube channel so we can get our followers up all right uh terry lynn it's about that time i know you're stalling a little bit no i'm just joking because <laughs> it's, it's, it's gonna be a hard decision it's gonna be a hard decision look we got four good looking men on here to choose from and and like i said earlier we were supposed to have some more daters on but things Mm -hmm. happen this this is live tv um but everybody is waiting for you to make that final decision on who you want to go on a date with um do you have any last words before you make your decision no no so you already made up your mind you already made up your mind yes okay all right so we're going to turn the beat down just a little bit and the moment you all been waiting for drum roll no y'all can't hear the drum roll but it's all good <laughs> um <laughs> brenda's gonna do it for us or baron's gonna do it for us <laughs> all, all right so drum roll terry lynn who are you going to go on a date with is it going to be data one, data two, data three, or data four? I can't choose between data two and four. You said you, wait, okay, one more time. Repeat it for our viewers. <laughs> one more time. Say it one more time. I'm having a tough decision between two and four, and it is stuck. (laughs) Ah, Okay, so for our viewers and listeners, is is this a tie? Are you going to 
Uh, is are we going into a tie? Are we going into a battle? What what are we doing, Terry Lynn? What are we doing? So now we have to ask. I have to ask more questions. The two and four. Ah, uh, okay. So, okay. Let me let me let me turn let me turn it let me turn the volume back up. Okay. So, two and four. Two and four. So two is Baron. Four is I. Sean. All right. So she's going to go with two and four and the other two, data one and data number three. Uh, you are not going to get, you are not going to go to the second round, or not the second round, but to the, the round. This is the first for So Days Live. This is throwing me off and I'm the host. I'm the creator. <laughs> <laughs> but we, we definitely want to bring you guys back on and for a future episode, we're going to make you guys uh the main data for the women that are uh we're gonna have on so days live in the next couple of episodes ahead um but before we uh bid two of you guys good night anything you want to say data number one anything you want to say to terry lynn yes uh sean first of all thank you so much for this opportunity it's unbelievable i would after we start to talk i i check in all your past uh, videos and was having a really good time yesterday day before so it's amazing being here um gentlemen you guys are fantastic i had a really good time this last one hour here it was amazing that you know you guys are welcome to come to canada eh? <laughs> and uh we, seriously come to toronto i will be here 100 percent. we can go for some drinks and have a good time tara lynn you are such an angel amazing person i had a good time talking to you um um you're very friendly very sympathetic and um i hope you choose the right guy for you and if it doesn't work you always can ask a shot for my contact and we can talk <laughs> i love it i love it you just sneak that one in i love it let's give it a round of applause for the number one yeah one boy but, but but before before I just say, you just say something. Just, just choose quickly because I'm going to be at the next one. <laughs> Bye, guys. All right, well, thank you so much, Data Number One. Thank you so much, buddy. You've been a very great sport. We really appreciate it. We're gonna have you back on soon, okay? All right, okay. Data Number Three, Brandon. Once again, we we were hoping for, you know, third time a charm, man. Uh, anything you want to say to Terry Lynn? Oh yeah, um thank you for the opportunity as always. Definitely been fun knowing to getting to know you all and Terry Lynn, I'll see you in the Astro Well. Oh yeah, we're here. <laughs> thank all you, right. Donna. Okay. All right. Well we hope to see you in the in that world too. All right. <laughs> but thank you so much, Brandon. You've been a great sport. We really appreciate it. Hopefully we'll bring you back on on a, another future episode of So Days Live. Okay, so uh it is the three of us three's company terry lynn all right so uh this is the tiebreaker i guess we call this the tiebreaker uh segment of so days live we're going over a little bit ladies and gentlemen because this is a very special episode um it is televised uh, a couple of things didn't go the way we thought it would go but we're gonna keep the show going because that's what we do here on so dates live with sean garvey uh and also big shout out to the ashley monique uh, she's under the weather, so we hoping for a speedy recovery. She did comment in the comment section, uh, but get well soon. And also, shout-outs to Teresa. She couldn't make it, but big shout-outs to her as well. All right, so Terry Lynn, you got questions. All right, so um, Terry Lynn, Baron, you got questions. And we and, and it's so crazy because we both got suits on. We're we trying, to, we trying to get this job. <laughs> it, feels, it feels like we're on a job interview it feels like we're on a job interview baron um but it is what it is all right so terry lynn let's go with uh baron first uh go ahead with your questions all righty hi baron hello so i have a question what is your ideal marriage my ideal marriage <laughs> yeah. um um, I guess I guess um, the the easier way to put put it that way is like um um my see my uh, like my parents for example my parents have been the biggest role models for me 
because they have been married now for almost 37 years. Um, and you know, my, and my grandparents were married longer, longer, obviously. Um, so yeah, I have a great group of family members who really, uh, who really have taught me a lot about love and communication. Um, and, and yeah, sure. Um, and, um, and yeah, sure. Um, my mom and dad, they definitely, they have had their fights. They've had disagreements, but yet somehow they've always managed to work it out or learn to grow with each other and kind of evolve with each other. And so, um, and so it's like, to me, a perfect marriage, it's like, if you can get through a fight and if you can learn to adapt from your mistakes, um, then I think that'll just make your relationship a lot stronger. And also, and also I think you would, honestly, I think you would have to live with the person before you actually marry them, you know, cause that'll probably give you more of an insight on like, would, this, would you like to be with this person for the rest of your life? Because then you'll know that, then you'll know that you could stand like, you know, seeing them every day in the house and sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, I completely agree. I love your answer. All right, Sean. All Next right. question right. is, what is your ideal marriage? Yes, my ideal marriage is yeah. seeing an example of my mom and her husband, Raul. Mm. Uh, in 2022 my mother got married for the first time on the sandy beaches of destin florida and seeing that instilled in me that it's not too late yeah to get married and yeah. so how i look at marriage today and it goes back to what i said in the previous round that work and communication, especially communication, a lot of communication. Communication is the key for me. And marriage to me is studying that person every single day, studying the world that we're living in and how we can work together, how we can build together to adapt to an ever changing society. And uh, that to me is, is marriage. Marriage is communication. Marriage is um, going through the good and the bad and knowing that every day is not going to be perfect, but just being able to communicate. And even if we get into a disagreement in marriage, it's very paramount that we tell each other, I love you. I think married couples don't, some married couples don't do that nowadays, but I think for better or for worse. Um, that's something that's not a good My spouse, and that comes with strong, effective communication. So communication is a very big part in marriage, and that's something that uh, married couples and the person that I plan to marry must take heed in. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. You two both did a beautiful job. And again, Sean, thank you for asking me to be on this show. I'm so happy. This has been uh, so fun. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I, I have a feeling that you're ready to make your decisions. I think I am. You think you are? Okay, before, before, before you make a decision, let's bring on Nicole and John. They still hanging out with us. What a surprise. Hi. <laughs> what a surprise. Hi. Welcome back. Welcome back to Soul Days Live. You've been watching highlights of the show thus far. And I want to get uh, Nicole and John's take on it thus far. So what do you guys think? This was fun. Yes, Terry Lynn, you're awesome. I love you, single mom to single mom. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, so that's why my hair's wet, because I'm doing the mommy thing and I had to go take a quick shower. 
<laughs> That's all right. You're clean. You see, you smell. I can smell you through the phone, right? <laughs> no, no makeup, clean. Yes. I love you, girl. I hope that whoever you go on a date with is amazing and is not just amazing for you, but you have one child. Is that right? Yeah. Is amazing for your child because our kids are our world. Yeah, they are. Yep. Serious yeah. business. That is serious business because you know the mama bear comes out. <laughs> yeah. I've done that a few times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, hey, John, anything you want to say? Anything you want to add? Right, sure, Sean. I, I, I really enjoyed it. I think it's a, it's a good thing. Yeah, this mm. is fun. Yeah. And, and you know what else I'm noticing, too? I'm noticing how tight John is holding Nicole. That's yeah. why. I think just by, mm. by watching this, it's just a reminder to people that's watching you couple with somebody or you know you watching this with your significant other or your yeah. future significant other this is just a reminder that love still exists you can still find love you can still find your person you can still find the right one uh just yeah. don't get caught up in the narrative of you know he got to be this and she got to be this he got to be he got to have that she got to have that if you you know if you go back and rewind to uh what nicole and john stated earlier you pretty much will get the bulk and the meat of what they were conveying to people yeah. that are out here you know trying to chase something that doesn't exist yeah. you know and 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 we really are appreciative of the advice and the tips that you have given to us this evening so we really appreciate it nicole and john thank you so much yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you. So let's we're gonna we're gonna keep you guys on because Terry Lynn is about to make her decision. I don't know. I, I feel like my heart is jumping in and out, in and out. No, <laughs> it's in and out because this is this is very suspenseful. So Terry Lynn, you have an opportunity to choose either Baron from Colorado or you have an opportunity to choose Wa. Me, Sean Garvey, from the ATL, from Atlanta. <laughs> so you have an opportunity uh, to choose. Uh, the suspense is killing us. So without further ado, Terry Lynn, let's go ahead and, uh, uh, you know, make your decision. Oh, I'm picking this person because their humor is very similar to mine and they literally tickle me. And I love that. Um, I'm sorry, Baron. I'm picking Sean. Uh, oh, oh, uh, oh my God. I, what, I swear, I swear this is not a setup. <laughs> I swear this is not a setup. <laughs> I swear this is not a set up. <laughs> You bastard. I, I'm Baron. I'm just that surprised that you. I'm just that surprised that you. <laughs> no, no, she, no. Oh, no. wow. Uh, this, wow. Okay. Oh, wow. I I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Um, you say, where should we go out? That's where you, that's what you say. You continue it. <laughs> Come on. Come I on. I know I know Nicole. I know. He's the best wingman ever. <laughs> hint hint nudge nudge. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So before we get to me, before we get to me, um, Baron, any last words, any last remark you would like to make to Terry Lynn? Um, so, uh, I'm I'm sorry. Interrupt. He might be going um, well, in and out. Uh, okay. Well, first of all, I just want to say thank you for having for having me uh, back here on the show. This has really been fun and all that stuff. And kindly, now uh, I'm just um, thank you for just allowing me to get to know you. Um, and if it means anything, um, I just I hope that maybe someday I'll I'll be worthy for someone as wonderful as you. You seem like a very amazing person. Thank you, Baron. Oh, I like that. I like that. All right. Thank you. All right. And, and Baron, we're going to definitely bring you back on. I know you've been on 
last time we're going to definitely bring you back on and this time you're going to be the bachelor you're going to be the main bachelor we're going to uh find you uh women that we're going to find you a, a lot we're going to find you to, to make up for it we're probably going to have to find you five women to choose from okay it's going to probably be more than three I'm just letting you know i'm just giving yeah. you the heads up okay all right so get ready prepare for yourself you might want to wear the same suit or you might want to switch it up a little bit but you you look good you look good so we definitely going to have you as the bachelor for next uh episode of soul days live so we're going to definitely keep you in the loop okay awesome sounds great thank you all right thank you y'all give it up for baron one more time ladies and gentlemen really appreciate it thank you baron all right so we're going to keep it going and uh yeah so me and Terry Lynn. Oh my God. I'm 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 blushing. Not now Terry Lynn got me blushing. <laughs> oh, <hey>. <laughs> I'm blushing too. <laughs> oh my. So, so just that's now. Not <laughs> well, should, should we should we leave now? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think Nicole and Nicole. I mean, well, let's get that, let's look at that last final thoughts before uh we we kick y'all out. Oh, <laughs> Nicole and John, what do you think about Terry Lynn's decision? I'm sorry. Can you repeat the question? What, what do you think about Terry Lynn's decision? Oh, actually, I thought the whole time you two. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. You guys, you did. It was it was a chemistry. It was a mesh. Um, you guys, the, like you said, Terry Lynn, the humor, the little bit of like banter, I mean, that's what, that's when I knew he could hang with me. Yeah. Because, yeah. I, yeah, I would throw out, I'd be witty, and he knew exactly what I was talking about. You know, he would confront me. You said that you like to be challenged, right, Sean? Yeah. 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 This is your girl. Mm. I love girl. you too, by the way. I just have to say, y'all are freaking cute. Oh, uh, thank, thank you. you. But Terry Lynn, you're Scorpio, right? Yes, I am. Me too, girl. Ah, see, she gets it. She gets it. I, I totally. Her. As soon as you said that, I'm like, yes, that's awesome. I love this girl. I knew I loved you too. I knew it. I was like, yeah, she's definitely giving a uh, tribe. <laughs> oh, totally. You know the song? Um, I'm trying to think of who sung it, but it was "Are You Strong Enough to Be My Man." Ooh. That I is my that. theme song. It's okay. um. It's a female singer. Are you strong enough to be my man? I cannot think of who it was, but she was like in the 90s, maybe mid 90s. That needs to be one of your theme songs. And uh, Sean, you better listen to it. I love it. Sean, that's going to be my song. (laughs) (laughs) We we already already created new memories thus far. <laughs> I love it. Well, thank you so much, Nicole and John, for just being a part of the show tonight. We really yeah. appreciate you guys. And uh, we love you. We we love you so much. This is about love. I love the way we're kicking off the new year right. Absolutely. You know, I love it. Thanks for having yeah. me. Really Blessed happy. relationship, by the way. Aw. Yeah, thank you. I will say we both went through a lot to get to this point, and we found each other, and it's amazing. So never give up. There were times that I totally wanted to give up. I wanted to step away and I did take breaks, believe me, because I needed to. But finally he came around and I, I grabbed him. He you found your one. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like we said. Mutual, oh, no, yeah. say it again. Say it again. The feeling is definitely mutual. Oh no, I so <laughs> What is this? Oh my. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling that see, I have, I have a feeling that Nicole and John are about to go wow 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 after the show. That's why we gotta kick y'all out. I'm like, come on, guys! I gotta get to bed soon. I got kids that are gonna wake up early. Come on, bring this along. Come on. You guys have to stay already. Wow wow. Wow. What do you think I took a shower for? Really? Come on. Thank you so much, Nicole. Hey, look, Terry Lynn's blushing now. Yes. <laughs> I, I gotta come. I gotta converse with her because I have a feeling we're gonna talk offline after this. Oh. So, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh oh. 
Well, have fun. Have a great evening. Yeah, have fun with. See, now he's like, we need to get. I on. know. John, John is like, can we go now? Turn the camera. Oh, you guys have to be my place. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. oh my! Oh. oh wait, 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 wait! Kiss cam, kiss cam, kiss cam! Woo! Woo! Oh my God! Y'all are perfect. I love it. I love it. <laughs> All right, you guys have a good night. We are headed that way. Thank you. All right, <laughs> that way. <laughs> that way. Bye, Bye you guys. Night. Terry Lynn, you're awesome. Keep it up. Thank Thanks. you, honey. You two be safe. Bye. All right. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. <laughs> All right. That's Nicole and John, ladies and gentlemen. And also, uh, once again, shout out to um, Dater Number One. We actually, actually, definitely got to bring him back on because one of the daters that we were supposed to have on tonight's show is in Canada. Is in Canada. So we're going to bring Dater One back on as well, too um data one uh so Wharton, we're going to bring you back on very soon because we do have uh someone that was trying to get on earlier this evening having some technical difficulties but she is in canada so yeah you know you, you want maybe close this is it maybe right? close. <laughs> you want maybe close uh so just stay tuned stay tuned we're going to keep in touch um but terry lynn and Yours truly, Sean. This is like an ATL Chicago connection right here. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> All right. So you got to tell me. You got to tell me because, you know, like I said, we can, we, we got to have a conversation after this um, because it, I mean, it's probably going to be a conversation that's going to be a little bit too, too, you know, uh, you know. Uh, so what is it? What else is it about me that attracted you? Um, your humor. I find you to be so funny. And not only that, but you're intelligent. And you can't make jokes if you're not intelligent. <laughs> you have a funny way of communicating. I love it. You don't seem like you take life too serious. You know, too many people take life so serious. And they, like you said, you don't like people who overthink. Me neither. I love a stressless life. I love things that go as much as I manifest them smooth, I like life to be smooth as well. So it's nice that you're that way. That's super nice. Thank you, thank you. Um, I love the fact that you have a very radiant energy about yourself. Uh, you are a good listener. You are a good communicator. You ask a lot of great questions and you, it's just something about your energy that lights up the room and can put a smile on somebody's face um you know and and to me that's the attract i mean of course you're very beautiful you're attractive uh you're very natural and i get like this very free-spirited vibe from you as well too like i mentioned earlier you know when we did the date me sex me and marry me segment and how you know i said janelle monet would be somebody that i would have sex with because of her free spirited vibe but it's more to that is right. pretty much just you know being able to not conform to what everybody else tell you you should be or tell you what you should do you know you are a person that lives within your own truth and yeah. not being able to you know be afraid or be reserved because you you care about what other people think about you but you know that's that's the kind of vibe that i got from you and that's what attracts me to you well thank you thank you i'm so excited i'm excited to get to know you very excited yeah i'm excited to get to learn to learn more about you so you know my birthday's coming up um I do have a big announcement that I'm going to make. I'm not going to make it here on Soul Days Live tonight, so you just have to wait for it. Um, it includes me traveling. It yeah. includes me traveling. But I, I definitely want to, of course, make the effort to come up to Chicago, to Chicago, because that's actually one of the cities I, I want to visit. Um, and, you know, for or you coming to Atlanta, and we just, you know, I love Atlanta. huh? I love Atlanta. You love Atlanta. You've been you've been to Atlanta before. Yes, right? I have. Yeah. 
yeah yeah um so i would love to just meet with you in person go on a date i mean we're gonna go on our dates but uh just to actually be in person with you and stuff like that is something that i'm definitely looking forward to me too me as well me as well oh wow thank yeah. you and sean this is awesome this 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 is definitely awesome this is i think it's like one of the the best date of the new year so far 2024 we definitely went into it on a Go, definitely great going day. strong hopefully <laughs> <laughs> all right so i already got people calling me you can hear that ring in the background i got people calling me right now terry lynn but i definitely want to continue on with this conversation um afterwards after the show if that is okay with you yes yes definitely definitely um whew, all right so <laughs> uh so anything else? before we close out you know i know we're going a, a bit over this this is probably more lengthier more lengthy than the cat williams conversation with shannon sharp recently but <laughs> <laughs> we, we we're probably going to get more views than that interview but i'm just saying uh so terry lynn <laughs> terry lynn any last words any last remarks you want to give to our viewers before we close out the show yes um always believe love is out there and i, I definitely would never give up don't give up okay okay um, well, my last remarks are everything that Nicole and John said earlier. Yeah. That's my last remarks. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> just to, just yeah. to echo that. So um, I'm definitely looking forward to talking to you more after this, after this uh, show, and then going from there. And, you know, we got to give our viewers and listeners a follow up. Uh oh, I think she froze. I think she froze. All right. Well, this is perfect timing because we're getting ready to get up out of here anyway. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks to all of our viewers and our listeners and people who have participated on Soul Dates Live tonight. Uh, we will be back with our new episode of Soul Dates Live. Uh, we're going to take a brief hiatus uh, later on. Um, we got a few more episodes to do before we go on a hiatus. But we really appreciate everybody for tuning in to So Dates Live. Make sure you follow us at Beat Break Radio. Oh, I think she logged off. She's probably logging off because she's standing by waiting for me to give her a call, I guess. But <laughs> but in the meantime, uh, follow me at Sean Garvey ATL on all things Instagram. Sean Garvey on Facebook. Uh, Beat Break Radio. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button on YouTube, Beat Break Radio. And shout out to all of our contestants and daters and even the people that did not come on tonight's show. Shout out to you all as well. Uh, if you missed any of tonight's highlights of Soul Days Live, uh, just go on YouTube, Beat Break Radio, or uh, go back and watch this, whatever platform you are watching the show so you can watch everything from beginning to end just in case you need to get caught up to speed if you miss anything all right so until the next time happy mlk weekend and we will see you guys soon uh next sunday night at 9 p.m eastern time so today's live right here on reach one network and on the flow television network cheers <laughs>